In about 48 hours, we may know more about the assassination of President John Kennedy. President Trump announced today via Twitter he is declassifying the last of the Kennedy death documents. But what, if anything, will it reveal that we don't already know? KMIR's Kitty Alvarado has a look. Charles Dunn is thought to be the last survivor on that fateful trip President Kennedy took to Dallas in November of 1963. Dunn says even with the release of these new documents, some things will never be known. Charles Dunn worked for the Kennedy administration as a typist. For Dunn, that time was magical. I had the honor of working close, closely and uh, always sensed and felt that aura of class. But that magical time ended in a horrific nightmare on November 22, 1963. Dunn says he remembers the Secret Service coming aboard Air Force One where he and other staff were working. We were at La Field and so they closed the blinds on the plane and closed all the doors and everything and were told to get the plane ready for takeoff. He's been declared dead. Dunn, one of the last survivors on the trip to Dallas, says the tragedy was so great he couldn't process what he was told. But enormous disbelief and sadness, you know, just couldn't, it couldn't be possible. And worse, what it meant for the nation he loved. It seemed like a hopeless future, that that was it, with the President Kennedy gone and just the fact that he was murdered. Uh, there was no future for the U.S. More than half a century later, people remain fascinated by the life and death of President Kennedy. The classified documents held tightly by the CIA and FBI have fueled conspiracy theories over the years. That's why the announcement by President Trump on social media, he would allow the last batch of top secret files to be released in accordance to the Kennedy Assassination Records Collection Act of 1992 is making headlines. I just wonder if this revelation of or release of information will prove anything additional or fuel more conspiracy. Data shows more than half of Americans don't believe the official Warren Commission report. Dunn himself has had his own theory based on whisperings from other insiders like him and would like to see if any of what he heard is mentioned in the classified documents. I in my heart still believe there were other shooters. I don't think many, but maybe another one or two in front. Dunn says we'll never know the truth because the truth is dead and buried along with President Kennedy. I think for sure there are things that died then on November 22nd. Like Dunn, 61% of Americans in a recent poll said they disagree with the Warren Commission. They believe Lee Harvey Oswald did not act alone. I'm Kitty Alvarado.